So the laptop we are checking out today is the Lenovo Log that comes with the Intel i7 14 Ryzen and the RTX 5060. We are also getting a 16 GB of DDR5 RAM in a single channel mode and a 1 terabyte of NVMe Zen 4 SSD. Other feature includes a Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, a MUX switch and a Lenovo's LA1 AI chip. So yeah, it definitely feels like a solid deal. On paper, it's an interesting package with really good features. Alright, so let's talk about the performance. So based on the benchmarks and the reported tests I found on the internet, the Lenovo Lock looks really solid. In Geekbench 6, it scored around 1,11,067. In 3 Mark Time Spy, CPU hits are roughly of 16,756 and the GPU clocks around 9,970. The blender also comes in at roughly around 3,300. Now in the real world benchmarks, they also back up this data. And even a massive DeepSeek R132B model in LM Studio completed the inference in just 6 minutes and 20 seconds. For a laptop this size, I think it's really impressive. With these numbers in mind, let's break down exactly how the Lenovo Log performs across different AI and machine learning workloads. So if you are getting into AI and machine learning, this is a really solid setup for classical machine learning tasks, including the regression, classification, clustering or tree-based models like the random forest, XGBoost or logistic regression. They also run smoothly. Even with the data sets of the 10,000 of rows, the CPU can handle all the data loading, which means you can spend more time experimenting and building models instead of waiting for the things to load. And honestly, after looking at all these benchmarks, it seems like this laptop could easily manage multiple notebooks making the workflow feel much smoother or more seamless. When it comes to the deep learning, that's where the GPU really shines. So with the RTX 5060, you can train small CNNs, NLPs and lightweight transformers right on the laptop. Of course, the 8GB VRAM limits your batch size, so for really large datasets, you would need to use smaller batches or you can just increase the RAM size. The classical NLP models like the BERT base or the ROBERT base, and a small image dataset like the MNIST or the CIFAR 10 run smoothly and feel really responsive. And honestly, I did expect this kind of performance from a mid-tier laptop. So for anyone like me who experiments with AI, prototype new ideas, or just learn models hands-on, this setup feels perfect for local work without always needing the cloud. So let's talk about the fine-tuning first. And here, yeah, it's a bit more demanding on a laptop. So small models like the Distil GPT-2 or the Tiny Llama are super easy to fine tune and train quickly. For medium models like the GPT-2 Medium or GPT-Neo 350M, it still runs smoothly. Smaller models like the Llama 1B or Phi 2 are manageable but need smaller batch sizes. And larger models like the Mistral 7B or the Llama 2 7B are kind of tricky. They can only run in tiny batches like 1 or 2 and anything above 7B parameters isn't practical on a 8GB GPU. Yeah, you can fine tune them but the process will be really really slow. For standard NLP models like the BERT base or the ROBERT base are very easy to fine tune. Now let's talk about the inference because that's when the model is actually generating text or making predictions and is a much lighter on hardware than fine tuning. Small models respond almost instantly. Medium ones run smoothly and even some lower models take only few seconds. Larger models like the Mistral 7B or the Llama 2 7B are also easier to run. Now for the very large models like the Llama 13B or 32B DeepSeek R1 are technically possible but that are really slow. For example, as we have seen the DeepSeek R1 32B benchmark, the model took around 6 minutes on a system with 32GB RAM. By the way, one thing I really liked about this laptop is its upgrade option. There's a second SSD slot empty and you can also upgrade the RAM all the way up to 64GB if you ever need it. That makes it really future-proof if your AML projects grow bigger over time. Now the reported numbers show the CPU can hit a max of 97 degrees Celsius and averaging around 85 degrees Celsius during heavy model training or fine tuning, while the GPU runs around 86 to 87 degrees Celsius near full power at roughly 98 to 100 watt. It means the laptop can sustain near peak performance for medium length training or inference sessions on the LLMs. High temperatures are normal for performance laptops and mid 80 degrees Celsius averages indicate it's stable even if the thermal headroom is a bit limited. Now for a very long multi-hour LLM fine tuning or training sessions, you might notice some thermal throttling or slightly lower clock speeds. In light usage with the IGP mode, you are looking at around 3 hours. For serious AIML workloads, this is a laptop you will mostly keep learning. It's portable enough for quick tasks, but heavy model training or fine tuning sessions, it's better to stay near a power outlet. 
So if you're thinking about getting the Lenovo Lock, specifically the i7 14700HX and the RTX 5060 variant, I have dropped the best buying links down below in the description box. So in short, Lenovo Lock is seriously a strong laptop for AI and machine learning workload. The main limitation is the 8GB GPU memory. So for the very large models, you have to be smart and offloading certain parts of the workload to the cloud. And also the thermals are stable and the performance is consistent, making is a strong contender for any type of workloads, be it student, hobbyist or even a developer. If you found this video helpful or learned something new, make sure to hit that subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of my future videos. And smash the like button, it actually helps me and motivates me to make more videos like this for you. So that's it, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.